Hey, what is going on guys? It's Starshay and today I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. So in our last video I did the top 5 spoofing locations for, well, for spoofers. And you guys really enjoyed the video. It's currently at over 1.8k views, so... And a lot of you guys have asked me to do the cluster location video, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best cluster locations to spoof to in Pokemon Go. So for those of you guys who do use iSpoofer or on iOS, it's very easy, the coordinates are all in the app itself. You can just go to hotspots and choose the location. For all you guys who are on Android, I will leave the uh, coordinates of each location down below in the description along with the name of the location. Anyway, let's get right into this video and I hope you guys do enjoy. Okay guys, so first of all, let's go to our first location. So you just go snipe to the coordinate hotspot. And our first location is actually Budapest. So let's go to Budapest. This is number five on our list. This is the best location is if you look here, you'll see just how many Pokemon shops there are in such a small area. So you could just walk around here and go to town spinning everything. You can use this as a route, you know, have auto walk on, and you'll earn a ton of XP. As you can see, everything is good, like absolutely everything. Well, nearly everything is good. There's a ton of Poké stops, and this is just a very nice location. There are also some gyms as well, so. There are some gyms for raids, a ton of Pokestops, a ton of Pokemon. It is in a park, so you know, more Pokemon you spawn here. So this is our number 5 location in this video. The coordinates are there on the screen right now, and they will be in the description. Anyway, let's head down to our number 4 location. So for our number 4 location, we can leave you guys this with them. Okay guys, so for our number 3 location we have Bornuvu Bayuk Park in Turkey. And this is number 3 because it's also got an insane amount of Pokestops. So let's just wait for everything to load in. And as you can see, this is just got a like a kind of a figure of 8 or infinity sign ring of Pokestops. So you can literally just walk along here and continuously spin everything. And by the time you finish walking along the entire route, the first Poké Shops will probably be refreshed again, you can just keep on spinning. So this is an easy way to get a ton of items, you can get XP if these, this is the first time you're spinning them. And normally a lot of them are also lured just right now due to the time there, it may not be. But this is a very very nice location, there's just a ring of 8 Poké Stops here. And then also there's, a, there's some clusters of Poké Stops um, everywhere else around the map. And the added benefit of this location is it also has a ton of uh, gems right here. So if you are also here for raids or you want to take over some gems for Pokecoins, there's also quite a few right here for you to take. So it's very good. Anyway, let's get on to our number two location. So our number two location, can you guys guess what it is? And can you? Well, let me show you. It's Zaragoza. So I think this is in Spain. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it, and yeah, you can see why this is number two. There's just so many Pokestops. The place you spawn in, you literally have like, I don't know, like eight, ten Pokestops right here. And then if you run around here, you can just go spin all these Pokestops. You can literally stand here and you active, oh my god, you're activating like, I don't even know how many this is. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 11, you can activate like 10, 12 Pokestops at the exact same time. And you can just follow this route, go down here. There's a ton more Pokestops here, like, just look at those guys. This is why this is our number two location. And stick around for number one, because that's even better. So just like the previous location, this is a very, very dense cl cluster of Pokestops. As you can see, it's just got a ton of Pokestops and they're all lured as well. So that's another added benefit. Plus, this location has a ton of gyms. Just look in the distance. There's so many gyms with so many raids going on right now. So a view here, not just for the Pokestops, but you also want to do raids. This is the perfect place for you guys. Anyway, now we're going to get to our number one location. And this is by far the best location, to me at least, and I'll explain why. So as you can see, it's very aptly named Cluster Spot Peru. So let's teleport there. And wait for our map to load, because it is a bit slow. Mm, okay, well, there's a speed up map loading on. Also, if you guys do not know how to use Ice Booth and you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know down below in the comment section and I will do one. And yeah, this is why this is a number one location. So this may not have as many Pokestops as all the other locations because those have a lot more Pokestops, a lot more gyms and stuff. But this has the most location, the most Pokestops in one location. So you spawn in and you don't have to move at all. You can just stand right here and you have access to like 15, 20 Pokestops. And when they are normally all also lured right now, they aren't, but most of the time they are all lured as well. And it's just an insane cluster location. You can just stand here. You have access to, let's see if we can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think right now I have access to 15 Pokestops at the exact same time. And besides that, I also have access to some gyms really close by. And yeah, it's just a ton of... I don't even know what I clicked on. Oh well. <laughs> anyway guys, so yeah, that is the top five locations. And I, I can just look at this. Click here, new field researched, XP. Just spin this. Imagine doing this with a lucky egg on. So just put a lucky egg on, spin all these Pokestops and you get a ton of XP. So I'm just, okay, well, that's just slightly out of range, I think. Not really sure. But it's fine, I can just literally click anywhere on here and I'll get on one of these police stops. So as you can see, like, if I had a lucky egg on now, I'd be earning so much more XP. So anyway, guys, this was my top... Nope, I do not want to do that. This was my top five locations for cluster locations, or these were my best five cluster locations in Pokemon Go 2020. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider supporting me by dropping a like, subscribing to the channel with notifications on, because like 99% of people that watch my videos are actually not subscribed. So let's change that by subscribing to the channel, guys. Turn on those post notifications. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. And if you guys want some extra advice or any more information, feel free to join my discord server below and if you want uh, early access behind the scenes stuff on my channel then feel free to support me on patreon anyway i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you guys did enjoy the video <laughs>